Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Manny. Guys, if you guys need a case for an iPhone 11, 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, selling these cases for only $5.99 on Amazon. They're clear, sturdy, got edge protection to prevent any cracks and they're only $5.99 free delivery with Amazon Prime. Links will be down below. And let's get on with the video. So today we're gonna to be working on a ceiling fan transformation. I'm currently working on a guest bedroom in my house that I, I'm going for a kind of bohemian chic style and I didn't want to replace the fan or buy a new fan. I wanted to kind of keep what we already had and keep it as affordable as possible. Okay, so this is what the fan currently looks like. So as you can see, it's kind of like an old fan. It's missing one of these, the other one I removed. But not just change the lampshades, I wanted to do something completely different to kind of match the transformation that we're making in the room, which you will see in a later video. So today I'm going to be making a tassel chandelier, um, which is essentially gonna go around the bulbs of my fan. And you guys will see how that's gonna work in a little bit. A wreath form, yarn, scissors, definitely gonna need some wire cutters. A book, so you can wrap your yarn around it. And that's how we'll be creating our little tassels. You wanna put the bottom of your yarn at the bottom of the book, or, or where it's not, where it doesn't open. And really the way that I chose my book is that I decided how long I wanted my tassels to be, and then I went based off of that. So now I'm just gonna spin this around 25 times. The yarn's gonna go everywhere, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So now what you do is you put it at the bottom, right, like so. You want to squeeze it all together, right? So you want to put your string at the end of your scissor and insert it through. Pull the strings and leave about four inches on each side, right? Now cut it and make a tight knot towards the middle of that section right there that you have open. So one. You want to make one knot and then another knot. Two. Then you want to do a balloon knot. I'm not exactly sure the proper name for it. Insert your string through it and push it all the way down. Do not tighten it until it's all the way at the bottom. So right, right when we're at the bottom, tighten it. Beautiful, so now we have a little and now you can pull it off the book. So that's gonna end up looking something like that. Now you want to pull down here, make sure they're all separated. Get your scissors and snap. And that's the beginning of your tassel. Now we gotta create the head. So what we'll do is we'll grab some more string and you want to make sure that you leave enough so it can hang down and now wrap it around the top. Make sure you're leaving enough space to have a good size head but not too big. And then wrap it around twice tightly. You want to make a knot so it's easier to wrap around. As tight as you can, wrap around twice more. And give yourself three knots. Cut that extra piece, extra long. And that's one of the hundreds of tassels we have to create. So you wanna get your wire cutters and get the end, the end that's closest to the blade and just apply it right there and snap and it'll snap off. And then you just wanna do that all around. Now 
So now you're left with a larger ring. This one's 14 inches and I believe this one's about 13 or 12. And now we'll add our tassels to these and layer them up. To attach these, all you have to do is like so. And through your loop, one, two, and that's one of them. Now you continue doing the same thing for the rest. Quick little intermission guys. Look how cute these glasses are. These are whiskey glasses that I'm selling on Amazon. It's a gift set and it says, but too much good whiskey is barely enough. This is the perfect gift for anyone who likes to drink or even if they don't like to drink. Look how cute these bullets are encrusted into the glass. The glass is pretty much wrapped around the bullet. It's such a nice piece, such a nice gift. It's so unique. Check it out in the link below. I put about 50 tassels to fill up the whole thing. It fills up pretty nicely and now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off all the excess strings from the top. Make sure you don't cut the knots. Get as close as possible to it. If you want, go one by one, it might be safer. That way the knots don't come undone. Guys, make sure you do three knots instead of two because they're coming off. So before you cut it off, tighten it and make another knot. But now as you see, there's spacing between these and I spaced them out as evenly as possible. And I don't like how the black ring looks just so bare. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some yarn in between it, kind of to give it more texture and to keep the, the tassels a little bit more firmly in place. So I'm doing this knot, I'm not sure what the name of it is. But you guys can see exactly what I'm doing there, just creating a loop and bringing both strings through it. I'm thinking three of these. First section should be enough. This is what it looks like just a bare wire. And then this is what it looks like when you actually take the time and put some string up here. It looks so much cleaner, so much nicer. Okay guys, so I'm having a small little debacle because I started doing the white string kind of how you guys saw. And I realized that when I put the piece up, which is up right now and I'll show you, it does, it looks nice, but it doesn't look as cohesive with my room because it's just white and it doesn't bring in the colors from the rest of the room. So like, for example, I have this piece back here and it has some yellows in it some different hues that are not just white, as does this piece down here. And I don't wanna ruin the room, so let me just, and this piece over here. So this is what my lamp looks like, right? This is what it looks like with the white. It's cute, but, Look at what happens when I spin it. And I do the yellow, it just, let me see. I think it ties in better with the room. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see the yellow here. And then I got yellow there, so it's tying in. And then I got some yellow back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the white off and I'm gonna do this yellow string instead. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've come to the end here. So I'm gonna do one final loop. All right, so I've done my final loop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this around here once and tie it let's see if it'll focus just tie it 
one. Two, and we'll do one more just to be safe. All right, so I've grabbed a piece that's about four feet long, two feet on each side when folded, and I'm making sure that it's the same color as this because I think it'll tie in better when you go hang it. So I'm just gonna go and loop it around that same place where we just finished the other one because it'll give me some extra bulk and it'll look better coming out of here once it's hung. So that's one. I'm gonna do one directly across. All right, so now I have one here and one directly across and now we're gonna go here kind of like cutting a pizza into four sections. We're gonna get those other two midpoints. That would be right here and right here and tie those pieces together. To attach the second layer, I'm gonna be using the metal wire from the wreath form. So they come like this and I basically just cut it up with my wire cutters into three sections. So it looks something like that, right? And then I warped it into something similar to this and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I gotta cut it a little bit more. All right, let's measure it up. Let's twist the bottom in. All right, we got one side of the hook. And that's it. Cut the rest of it, because you don't need all of this. And squish it. I anchored the hooks. I attached them with some string because they were kind of flinging around and causing like a disparity on the hang down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it on the fan. It's up there. All right guys, so our chandelier has been hung up and I've created kind of like a pool out of some yarn for the fan and now I'm gonna create one for the light switch and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So basically I just have my thick yarn that I use for the top of the chandelier and then the white yarn. I'm gonna make a knot around my pool and then you guys are just gonna create a braid and basically what you wanna do is you wanna pair the white ones up together and then separate the yellow ones and just braid it down. Now that I've created my second braid, I'm gonna go ahead and create my knots here. And to get a thick knot like this, I pretty much just knotted this three times. So grab all of the strands, create a loop, bring them through, and you got your first loop. Then you're gonna do that again. Do it one more time. Now we're gonna cut this about here and just undo these strings and basically all you have to do is separate them like this and it'll create like a little pom-pom. Do the same with all of the strings. 